Not too sure where things stand with this arbitration situation with Team Fury and Team Wilder. But according to Eddie Hearn, it should not affect the Joshua Wilder. Joshua Wilder. The guys, the Wilder guys never gonna fight Joshua. The Fury Joshua fight. He doesn't feel the arbitration will affect the Fury Joshua fight in any way. Let's check out Eddie's statement. That's a problem and a question really for Top Rank and Bob Barron. We've been assured by them that's not going to be an issue in making this fight. I do believe that Wilder was supposed to be fighting in January. We're in the middle of February so how much longer is he going to wait? He's been out of the ring for a year now so he's slowly- uh, You ain't knock me out n You're my trainer saved you. Slowly imploding in every single interview that he gives. He should get back in training. He should get back in the ring. That's a Fury problem. A Team Fury problem. We're confident that it won't impact our fight. Or the announcement. I keep saying two weeks until the announcement is made. I'm bored of saying it now. People are bored of probably hearing it too. But we're finalizing the finest details of the contract and hope to make an announcement soon. <laughs> this Wilder guy, he waits for the contract to expire, the, the rematch clause to expire. He crawls out of his, out of his little hole, wherever he's hiding in. He crawls out, crying in interviews, talking about he wants to fight. The contract's expired, what do you mean you want the fight? So now they're, they're going through some sort of arbitration. We'll see how that plays out. I still don't think he really wants to fight. This is just, you know, trying to, trying to whatever, trying to be difficult, really. If he wanted to fight, they would have been, you know, having serious talks, serious discussions. We would have seen Wilder all over social media right after he got knocked out. We would have seen him talking, talking, looking forward to this fight. We didn't hear nothing. We're hearing, we're hearing rumors about Team Fury moving on. We're hearing whispers for about, say, two months. They were talking Takam, they were talking Ajagba, they were talking all sorts. What's, what's the guy's name? It's the guy beaches are in Monaco. They wanted to fight him as well. Fury, would, Fury was, w w he was looking for options. He had options. Fury was going to fight in December. They were planning this from about, say, uh, September, October. We didn't hear nothing from Wilder. As soon as, soon as, as soon as, um, it's rumored that the, the rematch closed was until October. When the rematch clause was up, when we heard it's, it's up, when Bob Arum, Team Fury, Frank Warren were all saying it's up, that's when Wilder pops out. When it seemed like Fury was about to fight, that's when Wilder pops out. That's when he wants his rematch. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Fury, uh, not only our lawyers read the plain language of the contract, but uh, Fury as Robert Davis, as his lawyer in the UK, he's read the contract. The contract's expired, it's clear. Shelley can say what he wants. You know, the thing that's crazy about it is the last time I talked to Shelley Finkel was the night of the fight after Wilder had been beaten. And I haven't talked to him since. So Shelley hides in the bushes. And then when something that he sees as being adverse to his fighter or himself happens, then he comes out and makes statements. I am sure, I am absolutely sure, not knowing, but I think Shelly Schenkel has never read the contract. Listen, your rematch has got nothing to do with Joshua. Okay, your rematch, that's a you and Fury problem, like, like um, Eddie says. So, you can wait. Once this undisputed is out the way, they have to, to you know, they, they got a rematch clause there as well. Once um, AJ gets done dealing with Fury, you can you can go discuss fighting Fury for the lineal or whatever. Because Fury is probably going to go back to being lineal after he gets knocked. <laughs> so yeah, you and you and Fury can fight for that. You can fight for the lineal, you and Fury. Oh, 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 all of that. I want to unify the division. We unify the division. We never division. We never saw one. You never did one. Talking to that unified division. He's back talking unified about it again. division. Cleaning out the division. You ain't cleaning out. Who? who you, come on. You picked Fury to fight because Fury was like six hundred pounds. You were never gonna fight him if he, if it was normal. You thought that was an easy touch. That's the only reason you fought him. Ortiz, you waited for his fiftieth birthday to fight him. You aged him out. 
So come on, don't don't people aren't stupid. We're not stupid. No one's falling for what you're doing now. We don't even think you want you. You want the fury fight. You want some money or you know to save face. That's all this is about. Saving face. You see, I took him to court. He ran away from the rematch, so I took him to court. Saving face. You're not probably not gonna fight him. I wouldn't fight him either. You you almost died in that fight. Fury almost left that ring with a body on his record. We don't want that. Fury don't want that. Hands down. Hands down. I, I, I won that fight hands down. You know what I'm saying? Not only with me knocking him out and the ref getting him more time because he felt like it would be the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Because of the uh, the type of fight that it was. It was, uh, it was a highly anticipated fight. You know, it had a lot on the line. And, you know, sometimes these referees go out of their character feeling like, well, I'm going to do what's best for the sport instead of what's best for, for the, for, you know, <clears throat> what is in the rules of what's going on and stuff like that. Ah, my man almost slipped up there. You see that? <laughs> he almost slipped, let the, f the, f the, just say it. What's best for the fighter? What's best for the fighter? Okay. He, he, he's got the rematch in his mind like, ah, oh, oh, the tar came in, the ref was going to stop me in the rematch, ah, oh, that was best for me, quickly, quickly clean it up, ah, oh, what, 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 what's best for the, <coughs> what's best for what, what, what's in the rules of, of what's going on, huh, what, eh? Huh? By you running your mouth, you just kind of gave us an insight, if you're neutral watching your fight against Tyson Fury 2, you would have said, yeah, yeah, they should have threw in the towel for that wilder guy. You would have said the fight, the fight should have got stopped. Clearly, you feel the fighter's health is paramount. You did not want to die that night against Fury. You were happy Mark threw in the towel, cause he saved your life clearly. And you want the ref, the you want the refs, you want the coaches, you want you want whoever to to save fighters when they're in trouble. Even with your cleanup, you're still making yourself look bad. Because you're saying what's within the referees and um, the referees have to act within the rules, right? But you weren't defending yourself. So the referee or whoever, Mark, they had to stop that fight. Because within the rules, you have to defend yourself. You have to protect yourself at all times. You weren't doing that. You threw about maybe one, one pitiful jab that whole round, maybe two. At the most, some weird attempt at something right before the towel got thrown in. I don't know what you call it. I don't know if that's a jab. I don't know what the hell that was. So yeah, you had to get protected. Live to fight another day. You you, you didn't want to die. Now we know this too. We don't want to see you die either. Well, I will get a body on my record. I've been wanting one for a long time now anyway. <laughs> we don't want to see you die either. So yeah, good job, good job Mark Breeland. Shout out to Mark Breeland for saving this guy's life. You know, I, I don't think this guy likes hearing that. Wilder doesn't like hearing the fact that his life was saved. But hey, listen, it is what it is. Mark Breeland saved your life. We're gonna keep saying it, it's, it's, it's facts. If you didn't want to get saved, you should have punched Fury more, knock him out. What will you guys make of this Wilder guy anyways? Do you, do you think he's ever going to fight for a world title again or is it a rap? I personally think it's a rap. I think it's over. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see this guy ever fighting for another world title. I think it's over. I don't think he has the, the hunger. I don't think he has the desire. Well, he might have the hunger and the desire. I don't think he has the work ethic to get that done. He does not. As, as you've seen him say so many times, he doesn't train, he doesn't Personally, train. I don't even have to train and I can fight because I got a God ability, ability to do that. You know, not everybody can do that. You know, I, I can do that and I don't know why he blessed me with the ability to do that. You know, I, I can do it because I've done it many times before. It's certain things I, in the gym that I do that regular fighters don't do. You know, but I don't, I don't tell them that because I don't want them to get away from what they supposed to do because what God got for me is for me. It, don't, it ain't for nobody else. So what I can do, everybody else can't do. You know, and my brother witness to that. He'll tell you right now. I don't run a, I don't run a day in my life. I can't say I run miles of road work because I don't. Y'all don't have to. You know, I'm blessed to be able to still have stamina to best not get tired and still do the things. It's a lot of things that I don't do. Hence it being a rap. It's over. Has has this sort of human being gonna come back from from that? devastating defeat with this sort of mentality it's not happening he didn't train to begin with he, he doesn't think he lost the fight he thinks he knocked the guy out 
um, three years ago or whenever the first fight happened. This guy's in, he's in cuckoo land. Anyways, let, let us know what you think of this guy in general and the arbitration situation and everything I said in this video. Leave that down in the comment section below. Like, subscribe if you're new here. It's lit over here. And here, yeah, do some things to the notification bell. I'm out.